I eventually became aware that amongst these children there were three rather special children who I suspected were all suffering from the same condition. Um, but this had never been described in the paediatric literature. I thought about them for a long time uh, and was hesitant to write about them, to publish them, because I had done a certain amount of investigation on them, including chromosome studies, which in those years were very, of a very primitive order. And I couldn't find uh, a marker to connect these three children. However, uh, uh, at that time, I used to travel to Italy quite a lot for holidays. Um, and one day when I was in Verona, uh, I had really gone to see the open air opera in the arena. Uh, I went during the afternoon to a museum called the Castel Vecchio Museum in Verona. And walking through the various rooms, I saw a picture on an easel which immediately struck me very forcibly. It was uh, a medieval oil painting by an artist called Carotto, uh, and it showed uh, a young boy with a laughing, cheeky face, and he was holding a drawing that he had made of uh, a puppet and it was entitled uh, Boy with a Puppet and that picture seemed to crystallize the, the view of the boy laughing and the word puppet seemed to crystallize the cases of these three children because they too had puppet-like movements uh, they laughed a lot and it was that really which prompted me, made me decide that I would publish those cases um, even though the publication might be criticised. Uh, this I did and it was uh, published under the name of Puppet Children. I used that word to join the cases together, not in a scientific sense. Um, it was published in uh, a journal of paediatric neurology. It aroused some interest to begin with, uh, and as usual when one publishes a paper, people from all over the world write for reprints. Uh, but in this case, although that happened, um, there was no further interest in it. Um, and there were many doctors who said that it really didn't exist. 